Greetings, Kerbinauts. This is Kerbal Space Program. I'm Bob Fitch, and this is episode number one of a very special edition, Project Alexandria, a look at the construction of the space shuttle. The reason why I'm splitting this out into its own little mini-series is that I know that when it comes time to do the space shuttle, I'm going to have to spend a lot of time refining it and making it just right to work in real solar system for the things that I'm going to want to do with it. So rather than wait until the 1980s when we are going to be launching it, I'm going to spend an hour here, an hour there, over the weeks as we lead up to that time period and document the little changes that are going into making the space shuttle I'll be using. Well, for starters, we should ask ourselves, what will I be using? What parts will go into making the space shuttle? And as it turns out, there's already a mod called the CSS, the Component Space Shuttle. I've used it before in a real solar system launch, but that was way back several patches ago. I don't think that my old files are going to work, so I'm pretty much going to have to redo my work for the 090 version of Kerbal Space Program. So the format of this series then is that as I spend the little bit of time, an hour here, an hour there, I'll document it and put it out in a very short video. But when you string them all together, you're going to be able to see the construction from start to finish of what it takes to tweak all the parts and make them usable and stable for real solar system. So for starters, I have taken my base install here. This is the one that Kerbal Space Program installs. I download it off of Steam. And after I do that, then it goes in here to this folder. And then from there, I can copy it to other locations, such as some of my older ones here where I had a whole bunch of mod viewers or my base installs where I have different versions still saved. Here's Project Odyssey. This one is my AMA series. And this real solar system is my history series. But I figure if I'm going to be doing shuttles, I probably want some of the newer stuff, the newer tech. So I'm going to go into point nine zero and make a brand new install. And then in there I have installed already a few things, not too many things, but you have to have real solar system right there and some real solar system textures. I have my simple part organizer, except it doesn't seem to work. Tweak scale and some procedural parts. CSS here is the folder where the parts for this mod actually go. And in there we have all the different CSS folders for the different bits that we're going to want to put in this. All of them are going to be completely off though in terms of what I want for sizing. Here's one file for example. This one is the Space Shuttle Solid Rocket Booster, obviously. But there are other bits in here. Each one of these contains uh, different files, all the models and textures and part files. And these are the things that I'll need to modify if I'm going to make this work right. So for today's short time at this, I figured that I would take the parts without any changes whatsoever and just load them up one by one here, grab them, look at each of these. I think that's all there is there. Go into the fuel tank section, work my way through, try and find all the pieces that came from this mod. The sorting is a little funky. It's not putting everything where it's easy to locate. Like we've got this one over here. We have that one at the front. We have this one way at the back. Maybe it's al oh, alphabetical sorted. It's alphabetically sorted. That's what's going on. Yeah, I'm not used to the 090 yet because I've been doing all of my work in 025 still for all of my series. This is really my first foray into using 090 for anything significant. So if we just grab all these bits one by one off of the different tabs here and slowly put together the shuttle, then even though it's not sized properly, we can take it out onto the launch pad let me sort this by mass because then I have a better idea of where I want to go to get the different parts that go on this. So we'll take it out onto the launch pad and even though it is not the right sizing yet, this is going to be way, way too small, we'll at least get an idea of how well this flies. So one by one, we'll go through here. We grab our uh, little left wing, we'll grab our right wing. I can see the control surfaces are right there. In order to get them to attach, hold down the Alt key. That way they will definitely attach by those little nodes that we can see right there. 
Then turn on the uh, lock right there. See the angle snap? Make sure that this is angle snapped on there pretty good. The CSS tail. All right, we need to rotate that one around and also hold down the alt to make that lock into place. Under engines here, we can see we have main shuttle engine. So we'll grab that, duplicate that a few times, put that in there. I have the right engine for the OMS orbital maneuvering system. We have the left engine for the OMS, put that there. Then up here, we're still missing the nose, but uh, yeah, let's find the nose. So there's this part of the nose that goes right there. We need the other part. So here's that one, CSS nose. We'll put that right there. We have our RCS jets that go in the front. So the shuttle's looking pretty good at this point. We'll have to flip this around and attach it. It looks like it attaches right there. Now, I'm, I have landing gear in this, but I'm not putting the landing gear in yet. I'm just trying to get an idea of how well this is going to fly. We have our nose cones there. Let's find the solid boosters and the decouplers. So here's our decoupler. We'll stick that on there and symmetry that, put one on each side. Find our solid boosters. Where are they? There we are, space shuttle solid boosters. So we'll stick that right there. We're trying to get it attached to this decoupler, which I put a little bit of it right there. So that looks like it is attached. Excellent, so now we just need our nose cone, which I had out here just a second ago. So here's our nose cones. They have little markers on them to show the separation direction. The little red, see, look at that. Separate direction. So the red arrows need to be rotated to point out that way. So there we go. We have ourselves the basics of the space shuttle. I'll have to maneuver all these little bits over here into the right staging. So let me take care of that real quick. There we go. Now, uh, just temporarily, we'll grab some of these stability enhancers for the launch pad we'll put a few over there and let's just put some on the bottom here a few here and there this ought to hold it steady before we launch it drag it down a little closer to the ground when it comes time to really launch it i'll put on a much better some fasa things or something and that is it so i'll just leave that as untitled craft for now uh, that doesn't really matter too much now we shall take it out onto the pad and see how it performs right out of the box. Obviously there are several other mods that I'm still missing. Some visual enhancement type stuff, something to make it where the ambient light is greater at night. I'll move this around into the day so it's easier to see. Okay, there you go. And I can see that that is already dangling and shaking around, but this is just for funsies. Let's see what happens when we stage this thing in RSS, right out of the box, no changes. Here we go. Power up and stage. Oh yeah, that is already clearly not going in the right direction. I put that down, oh yeah, see right there, I forgot to power it up and the SAS is not turned on. I had put that thing down because I'm missing the mod right now that allows me to shift it off to the left and get it out of the view, get it out of the way so that I can see better. Oh, nice explosion. But because I put it down, uh, then I couldn't see that I hadn't brought it up yet. So we'll have to do this one more time, this time with the SAS turned on and with the throttle to full. Whoa! <laughs> okay. What the? What is it doing? Oh man, I lost my engines and it looks like that point when it's where it's attached with those SRBs, yeah, maybe not exactly how those things should be attached. We'll just stage those off there and see how this thing goes. Uh, I think it is time for an abort sequence. We'll just get rid of everything here. We're going to go EVA and we're gonna use our, well, we don't have any parachutes, but uh, well, we're gonna have to do something. So we'll just go out here and use our RCS to slow our fall. One by one, we'll work our way through the crew. Uh, fortunately, there are either only four spots or I can only see four spots when I switch over and look at that. Well, I don't know, hopefully he is going to survive. We will see, no parachutes. 
Well, survive or not, that's going to do it for the first episode of Alexandria's mini-series spin-off. Boom! Oh, yep, looks like we made it. A few more explosions. Well, don't worry, this is not taking the place of Alexandria or anything else for that matter. Alexandria will continue every other Monday. Odyssey will continue every other Monday. This is just, like I said earlier, going to be a little glimpse at what it's like to build my component space shuttle in real solar system week after week, an hour here and an hour there. Next time what we'll do is start resizing all of the parts to be the perfect dimensions. Until next time, I will see you later, Kerbinauts.